I just love new Quest 3 information, and thanks to Best Buy, we've got some more. Hey, what's up? I'm Matt, and welcome to BMFER, the unofficial home for all things Quest. Thanks to a new listing from Best Buy, which was completely out of the blue, we've got some additional information about the Quest 3, and we're going to talk about that today, right now. All right, so as you're seeing on screen right now, the Meta Quest 3 has an official page at Best Buy with a model number and a SKU. It's listed as coming soon and listed for $499. Let's go ahead and go through what this listing says, what it tells us, including new information about screen resolution. In the About This Item menu, it says MetaQuest 3 is coming this fall. Get ready for jaw-dropping experiences that transform your home into a virtual playground where elements blend with your physical space. Oh, also, it, talking about transforming your home into a virtual playground where virtual elements blend with your physical space proves that they are pushing the mixed reality thing a lot, but that's okay. With a vast library of over 500 titles, there's something for everyone to discover. Reimagined from the inside out, MetaQuest 3 is the wireless headset that you can do it all so you can explore it like never before. Okay, so interesting description. Gives us some more information. Let's dive into the specific information now. All right, it says expand your world. A super fast processor and high resolution display help to keep your experience smooth and seamless even as high speed action unfolds around you. Experience total immersion. Full color pass through that blends virtual elements into your physical space for a new way to play. Connect and explore like never before. The most powerful quest yet. Enjoy lightning fast performance that delivers clearer, sharper details thanks to double the graphics processing power compared to Quest 2. Now here we go. Our highest resolution display. See dazzling visuals come to life with a nearly 30% leap in resolution from Quest 2. 30%. That's quite a bit, and according to, sadly, it's Bradley, when I asked him, the Quest 2 and the Quest Pro screens are virtually the same resolution. 30% additional resolution. That's, in theory, really good, right? I mean, like, practically speaking, I don't know how that's going to look, like, how much of a difference it's going to make, but 30% is a lot. More than a quarter, not quite a half. 30% is 30%, and I'm excited to see what that 30% means. One thing, though, that this does do is maybe give us some more information about the type of display. See, they haven't announced whether it's LCD, OLED, or if it's single display or multi-display. The thing about this is, is that this matches up with a leak that came out or something that was dived into by Somolia, I think, last year, where it was leaked that the headset with codename Eureka 865 had a single 120 hertz, 4128 by 2208 LCD panel. And this new 30% increase lines up almost directly with that information, with that specific resolution as a single panel. So more than likely, we've got a single panel LCD, which is what I assumed all along anyways, I would have liked something a little bit different. <laughs> I know a lot of people wanted an OLED display. I would have loved something that offered a little bit more flexibility, like more than one screen instead of just a single screen like the Quest 2. But it is what it is. It's probably going to be a single panel LCD at this new 30% increased resolution. Great. I'm happy with that. I'm okay with a 30% increase in resolution, especially with the pancake lenses. We've got pancake lenses on the Quest Pro with the same resolution pretty much as the Quest 2. So, in theory, that should make everything look even more sharp than both Quest 2 and Quest Pro. Continuing on, though. Expansive VRMR library. Dive into 500 titles and immerse yourself in your favorite content across gaming, fitness, entertainment, social experiences, travel, and more. Surrounded by sound, feel like you're right in the action with rich spatial audio for the most immersive experiences yet. Some of these aren't really any different than the Quest 2. Just had to add that. But it's fun to read through this stuff and get excited nonetheless. At least it is for me. Explore further in Ultimate Comfort. Redesigned with a 40% slimmer optic profile compared to Quest 2 and strap customization for personalized fit. Strap customization. Okay, so that either means adjusting the strap for comfort or they're really banking on the idea of customizing the strap this time around. What does that mean? Does that mean we're going to get a lot of different options like Apple does with their watch for tons of different types of bands? and straps for this headset? Who knows? It could just be literally talking about the adjustable things on the sides. It's <laughs> adjust your headset. Hard to say. But they are admitting for personalization, which we've kind of known, you know, but this is the first time I've actually seen it down in print. Experiences you can feel. Touch Plus controllers are redesigned to fit more seamlessly in your hand, while True Touch haptics let you experience realistic sensations like you're actually holding a bow or blasting through space. So the controllers... Redesigned, we knew that. They're pretty much pro controllers without the cameras. So it's, we kind of knew that already. All right, so looking in the specifications, 
few different things we can gather here from the internal memory being 128 gigabytes, which we knew comes with controllers. Obviously, it does say display type LCD. So that right there, if that's correct, it kind of confirms the idea that it's a probably a single panel LCD, which was assumed, but, you know, it's good to get confirmation. It also lists the color category as gray, which the Quest 2 is white. So this really doesn't come across as gray to me in what I've seen, but, you know, whatever. So we've learned a few things from Best Buy. That the resolution of the screen is 30% more, that it's probably an LCD panel as long as this information is correct, and that's really all the new stuff we learned except for confirmations. Like, there's also information in there about what comes in the box. It comes with two AA batteries, same as the Quest 2, just as we assumed. So all these things are just pieces coming together. They're confirmations of things we thought, but now that we know because information's just kind of spilling out there. We're getting confirmation of things from the resolution increase to the batteries, to the customizable strap. Another couple of quick things I wanted to add onto this video about the Quest 3 I don't think that I've talked about yet. And that is number one, Jason Rubin was wearing an elite strap in his profile picture. And that kind of proves to us that there is an elite strap of some kind that works on the Quest 3. I don't think I've talked about this yet. I can't remember, to be honest. It's highly unlikely that the original Quest strap will work based on the arm distance, like the length of the arms on the Quest 3, and the fact that there is a USB-C port in the actual spot where the arm goes. But they do seem to be developing some sort of elite strap of some kind. Hopefully, they'll have one with a battery. And of course, you know that we'll have third-party ones with batteries in it fairly soon after launch as well. And the other thing I wanted to mention is that it looks as if Meta is going to be reducing the age requirement for the Quest, recommendation for some people, from 13 to 10. And that's gonna be going on Quest 2 and on Quest 3 as well. That's why I wanted to mention that. So that could potentially mean that people that are 10 and older instead of 13 and older can have their own account and it'll function a little bit differently. There'll be some parental control things in there up until they become a teenager or they hit 13 and then it kind of unlocks. It still has the parental controls, but they're limited in what they're allowed to do automatically by meta from 10 to 13. Uh, things like always showing offline. But I do remember that they said that it looks like it's gonna be happening from 13 to 10. I just wanted to mention that because I know there's some people out there that are probably in that age range that want to play and have their own account without having to have an account that's their parents or lie about their age. But there you go. So, there you go. More information. Thank you to Best Buy for <laughs> releasing this. And I'll keep my eyes open for any more information that I might find and bring it to all of you. I am just incredibly excited for the Quest 3. So, doing these videos just gets me pumped up and hyped even more every single time I do them. You're probably getting tired of hearing about the Quest 3, but I'm not getting tired of talking about it. So hopefully there's some of you out there that are just as hyped as I am and just want all the information that you can find. Thank you so much for watching and bearing with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all things Quest 3 and happy questing.